Here's a question about diffraction. So you have water waves pass through a small gap. Oh, why did they say the word small? That's very interesting. Which diagram shows the waves after they have passed through the gap? Wah, 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 wah. It goes through that. So you need to know that diffraction means when there is a barrier. So here you have a barrier. You have another barrier. The waves will pass the barrier and spread out. So spread out like this. Oh, so you see that's why the wave fronts are curved. Because the wave is spreading out. But why are there so many diagrams? Which one is correct? Okay, let's look at which one is wrong first. A is possible. I mean, yes, you spread out. But look at B. Like, what is that shape? You know, when we say spread out, I really mean like whenever I draw these blue arrows, the wave fronts are perpendicular to those arrows that I draw, like the direction of propagation of the wave. So this is propagation, okay? Where the wave would, where that particular wavelet will travel. But if you look at B, it's like, what? What? How do you, how do you even? This is like focusing or some kind of weird thing. So the curvature of the shape is wrong here. Curvature, wrong. So not B. Let's check out C and D. How are they doing? C looks a bit weird. I mean, what? Why? Why is this bumpy, squiggly thing? It's a bit weird too. So I'll put a question mark. Like, why? Why is that? No, that's not how. That's not how we draw these diffraction waves. So we are left with A and D, and they are both. They are both diffraction patterns, and it's totally possible. But how do you know which one is the correct answer? How do you decide between A and D? Hmm. The hint lies here. Usually, when we draw curve like this, this is because the gap is small, or I would say smaller, smaller than the wavelength. So the gap is much smaller than the wavelength, and so the wave will go through and spread out a lot. When you see the pattern in D, like the one over here, this is usually the pattern we draw if the gap is much larger than the wavelength. And so there are sections of the wave that will go through without defecting. So if you zoom in a little bit, you see this part here right, is all straight and straight. So there's the middle part here is kind of still straight. So there's no curvature, no bending of the wave. And that is usually because the gap is much larger than the wavelength. But I say, Miss, I look at the picture, the gap looks the same. How do you know which one is bigger, which one is smaller? Nah, I underline this for a reason. And it is an important clue. They said a small gap. So although A and D is possible, A is more likely because for a small gap, you will have that curving spread out of the, the geometric shadow of this diffraction pattern. So A is the best choice, though. although D is also very close, leh, but this is for a larger gap. If they said wave pass through a large gap, then yes. Okay, so that's how you can differentiate between two. If you got straight parts, large gap, like this one over here. Okay, and if you have a very small gap, then it will curve a lot and just all spread out. Okay, oh, I forgot to mention, if you want to draw the, the propagate, direction of propagation, here will be straight. Here will be kind of straight. Here will start to bend. Okay, so something like that. Bend. Okay, so something, something like that. It's kind of hard to draw with the these ones. But that's how you can think of the wave spreading out as it passes through a gap or a slit. That's all for this question. I will see you in the next one. Next question, next video.